What's up guys, GFX Lab, and I want to talk to you guys about famous people I've met. And uh, this is a Rodriguez gameplay, he gets a Moab, straight out beasting with the striker. And uh, some of these celebrities are not people that I've actually met in real life, but they're like people that I've worked with, or, you know, I'll let you guys know what, they, what I mean. The first one I want to talk about, uh, okay, so back in the day we used to have book fairs at our school, and I got this list that had like all the sports stars at that time and uh all the actors that you could get a hold of that had you know pe people that would uh you could send mail to send fan mail to and i used to send fan mail for days like i once i got this book the very next day i went out and used all my savings to get as many stamps as i can and as many uh letters like um little uh, l envelopes that I could and it used just a huge pocketbook and I wrote all these like I wrote I must wrote like 50 to like everybody from Jet Li to Jackie Chan to Chuck Norris I loved all those martial arts guys and uh, I sent one to all my favorite actors like Jim Carrey I sent one to um, I don't remember like every one of them and I sent some to Michael Jordan and you know, just everybody I could think of that was that was uh, <clears throat> that was famous in my mind and that I really enjoyed. And the only person out of all those fifty letters that sent me anything back was Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey sent me a a nice portrait photo of him, and it said "Spank you very much." And then it had Jim Carrey's, you know, signed on there with a the marker. And I was like, "Oh my God!" When I got it, I was ex I was excited. Like I was I've never been like well, and I guess like, yeah, I've never been that excited because Jim Carrey was the man. He was in Ace Ventura. Oh, my God. Jim Carrey is the man. And then uh, another person. All right. So I'll just I have this list. So um, the next person is Charles Barkley. I remember going to this. Uh, I was maybe 12 or 13 or something like that. And and uh, I remember going to Scottsdale, Arizona for this um, PGA golf tour. Uh, it was like the closest thing I could get because back then I was so into golf and um, my parents took me to this and it, it was like we got free tickets so it wasn't all that much. I know they're pretty expensive but um, so I got to go and I got to see Charles Barkley at a P.F. Chang's in Scottsdale, Arizona and this is one of the main reasons I moved out here was because I saw a famous person here and I was like this is the city life oh my god <laughs> you know. Like I was, that just like blew my mind that I saw somebody there at, at a P.F. Chang's. <clears throat> P.F. Chang's is a pretty nice restaurant though. So, I, you know, celebrities would go there. And uh, I was like, oh my God, Charles Barkley, everyone in my family was there. And we we're all scared, like sitting in our seats, like, what do we do? <laughs> and uh, my mom was like, who is he? And we we're like, Charles Barkley, he's on Space Jam. And she was like, oh, okay. And so she went over and she like, walked up to him and she she asked it well first she walked up to him she like she tapped him on the shoulder and he's and my mom was like are you charles broccoli <laughs> she didn't know his name and because <clears throat> she just heard us over all the commotion in the restaurant she barely heard us so she paired she thought his name was charles broccoli and his his wife cuts in like no he's not he's not charles barkley and he's not he doesn't want to talk to you and she was just like so naggy to my mom and my mom was way older than she was. So my mom just like looked at him and he like looked right at his girlfriend or wife and he just stared at her like he gave her the meanest look and he's just like, I can talk to my fans if I want. And she was like, she was still nagging like after, but I was like, he's the man. I was like, oh my God, he's the man, Charles Barkley. It was it was so amazing like it was it was so funny like that he said that to her too. He, he's the man. And uh <laughs> so I got to meet him. He signed a napkin for me and that was the end of that. And then I, I remember when I was like really really young. I don't even, I was like 10 or something, but I'm a beast at the claw game at you know those claw games that were you know like they're outside of stores and stuff and you, you there's a claw and you have to get teddy bears out. <clears throat> I would I would be every time I would get a get, I would get like a get a prize out like I was a monster at those games I would if I had the if I had like 10 bucks I could probably take out like at least eight at least eight of those teddy bears and stuff like that but I remember doing what working on one one time <clears throat> one time and this guy walks by and everybody was like 
cheering at him like they were like yeah yeah and i, I didn't really hear the what his name was or anything like that but um apparently like he was this huge guy he was white and bald and he's he had this leather jacket on sleeveless leather jacket and it said stone cold on the back i didn't know who he was at that time because i did follow wwf but not all that much like i wasn't too big into it and i think it was wwe at that time but uh um i i didn't know who he was and i you know he hadn't been he wasn't all that big yet like he wasn't on on like a lot of the events and stuff like that so i didn't know who he was and then the next week after like after i saw him like he was signing people's stuff um I saw him all over TV, everywhere. I mean, it was crazy. This is when Stone Cold was huge. This is when, like, everybody was crazy about him. And I didn't know who he was, so I didn't really get to meet him. But, you know, that, that just that's just what it, how it is. <clears throat> it's a small world. You guys got to keep your eyes open. <laughs> Another time, there's uh, I used to work at Arizona Mills. And the, the very first, well, the very first celebrity I saw there, and uh, it's a mall in Arizona, um, but uh, ever the the first time I I um, saw anyone there was I was getting an application at this uh, health store um, to be like to work at a juice bar or whatever, and I was in there signing the application still and getting everything right, and then <clears throat> I saw these girls walk by and they were like amazing like there was they they were like models or something but there was these girls like blonde hair um, these black short black dresses. And they had these really high heels. And I was, you know, I'm a guy. So I'm like, damn. I'm like looking at him. I'm like, like there's other guys around. And we're all like giving each other like um, like high fives. <laughs> pretty much like in, in our minds, you know. And we're like, these girls are hot. And we're, and then um, in the middle of all of them was this really short uh, guy with bald hair. And I was like, who is he? He must be someone really rich or famous or something. And then as I go around the front and see who it is, it's Mike Tyson. I was like, oh, man, Mike Tyson. I was like, you're the man. Like, you couldn't really get close to him because there was too many people around him. So I was just, like, so excited. And he had bodyguards and everything, so you can't even talk, can't even really talk to him. You can talk to him, but you can't really, like, you know, get to get close to him at all. Like, he was, he was just surrounded. <clears throat> but he, um, they told me that uh, a lot of celebrities come by there and that it's, a, you know, a pretty big spot for celebrities. So I was like, oh, I'm going to work here forever. <laughs> um but then, uh, so I got a job there at the health store. I got, you know, I, I left the place cause I hated it. And then I, I got a job next door at the sports store and at the sports store, I actually was a cashier. I was a beast cashier there and <laughs> I would get through lines so fast. And I was, there was one day where I got my lines done like so fast. And the other person, the other girl that was with, that was working the other, um, register, like she was not she she had like she was really lazy so she didn't really have all that many customers because they they wanted to go through someone who's fast you know so um amari stoudemire was buying fishing stuff i didn't know who he was at all and so i'm like i got through all this line and i was so mad at this girl like i was like you know what um my my register's closed i was like you got to go over there to that other girl and then once he walked up to her she was like screaming she was like oh my god you're amari stoudemire <laughs> and uh i didn't i was like ah oh, i was like oh i didn't know he was famous i would have helped him out but he was insanely tall and uh his wife was really hot and everything so it was really it was really cool seeing him but he was like injured or something he had like a sling on and stuff like that um and then um another person that i semi met was chris bosh i kind of worked i worked at my last job i was designing cards so i designed his invitational card for a holiday party that he was having and he was buying a lot so there was a whole thing with the ceo having to talk if it's a celebrity order so i didn't really get to talk to him and another person that i've are, are people that i met was um static x when i was when i was you know the, i don't think the concerts really count because you know, static, static X doesn't really count because they kind of do that thing with their fans anyway. And then um, the last person I want to talk to talk about is Maynard. Actually, there's two last people. There's Maynard from Tool. He is a god in my mind. Even though he was an asshole when I met him, he's still amazing. He's, his music is amazing. I always love his stuff. And, you know, he is just the man. Maynard from Tool. I love his I love his work, but him as a person, he's pretty he's a pretty big asshole. And then... Um, the last person I want to talk to you guys about is uh is a guy I met that there was this point in my life where I was crazy about Jackass. Like I was insane about them. I, it started off with CKY. I used to watch these skate videos 
and there was CKY everywhere on it and everyone loved CKY and I was like man if I ever get to meet Bam or any of these guys I'm gonna you know Brandon DiCamillo if I'm gonna meet any of these guys I'm gonna be so crazy and the person that had it the person that I got to meet was Ryan Dunn and he was doing a Zoomies tour like and he came out to Arizona he went out to one of the malls and he actually met with people there at uh, at Zoomies and he was really short. He's a really cool guy. He's the coolest guy I've ever met. Out of all the celebrities, hands down, Ryan Dunn was the man. It's a sad thing that he passed, but he's the last guy I wanted to talk about. And I hope you guys have an epic day. Um, this is this has been really fun. Maybe if I ever if I ever meet some, hopefully one day I can do a dual com with another famous person. Aside from that, I don't really think commentators and you know, like us, I don't think we're really that famous or I'm not that famous at all. But um, it would be funny if I ever, if you guys ever meet me, don't ever think of me in that way unless it gets that crazy. But <laughs> it would be, it would be really funny if someone thought I was a celebrity. But I hope you guys have an, an epic day and peace out.